It is a big, heavy beast. Holy smokes. Sounds like that. Oh, you were right, dude. <laughs> dude, what a tank. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new video. I've got a special video that was actually a lot of fun to edit. We're doing all elk sheds and we're doing nothing but pickups. But before we get the video started, I wanted to give you guys a heads up. We are doing another giveaway. Guys, to enter our giveaways, there is no purchase necessary. This time we're giving away an XO pack. One lucky winner is gonna win a K3 pack of your choice. So that way you guys get to pick the bag and the color of the bag. Personally, I have a First Light Fusion camouflage backpack and most all of these sheds you're gonna see in this video were packed out with my EXO pack. All you have to do is text the word HUSH PACK with no spaces to the number 29071. If you're already a member of the VIP list, um, lucky for you, you're already in the game. So we're gonna announce a winner on or before March 1st. So good luck guys, make sure you get entered and enjoy the video. There they are. Look at that, dude. That's what we're out here for. Boom, boom. Side by side set. Okay, we're gonna hand this off to Seth for a pickup. Ben's on his way down too. Got a little walnut or acorn thing. Yeah, brownie. <laughs> Regardless of size, browns are just cool to find. Yep. So yeah. Look at that little acorn thing on the top. Barely forks. I knew that one was a six point right away, but I could not tell. That's how old a sign we're looking for. They have to be him, so that's what kind of sign we're looking for. Yeah, that's what I was seeing over there, and that's kind of led me to glass. Pretty, pretty. Just a nice little six point. I, he might not even be 300, but 290. He's right there, but found his boy. Yeah, we found him. Nice and brown. Got some white buttons, some hair on there. Finally got a brown on this trip and it's an elk shed. Yes, oh man, Woo. oh man, it's heavy. It is heavy guys, with a weird burr I think. Holy smokes, we have a brown, finally. And it is a big, heavy beast. Holy cow guys, it's about time. This is gonna be so sweet if I can get into some browns in this pocket. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Look at that stubby sucker. I just have a feeling that this burr, even though it's somewhat normal, I just feel like this antler may have been kind of crooked on the bull's head for some reason. It's it almost doesn't seem right. It would have sat like that, and that's a little abnormal. Could could happen that way, I guess, because the burr, you know, the burr really does just look uh, very normal. So nice, heavy, heavy six point. But still, that's a good, heavy, heavy bull. Super dark brown. Almost walked right by it. Is laying tines down underneath these rocks, and I kind of got lucky to spot it, but super cool bull heck yeah it's a good one just like i thought Whew. nice hard white straight six. Oh, busted g1 oh heck yeah that's from last year oh man that feels good stuffed up in there pretty good all right not a bad bull at all Definitely last year's. Look how heavy it is right there. That's pretty cool. He's all palmated right there. It is royal. Still nice and brown on this inside. So great bull, hard white. I think this is the first hard white we found. That's pretty sweet, right? It's a nice one. Look at the burr on that. Nothing giant, but 
nice and solid look so he had like the candle he had like some texture going on like we call it the candle drop when I see stuff like that looks like it's melting downward but just a nice bull oh yeah this one got me going guys look at that nice pretty bull looks like a two-year-old antler I was just cruising along this elk trail and then I came up onto a knob and there it was tines down pick him up here Dang, big old long main beam. It was kind of wedged down in there. I thought maybe this would be a seven, but just a straight six. Nice, nice pretty bull. Good thirds, decent fronts, and then just that long swooper beam. Well, we've got a little better angle of the shed now. Right there, dead center. Can see the back end of it when i was a little higher i could actually see the whole thing and it's got some decent fronts i know it's not going to be a giant bull but it's not a bad one either better than we thought guys oh these guys look at that royal is actually pretty fat and then that fifth looks like it had some type of acorn on it which busted at it better than I thought guys nice Whew. <laughs> let's see what better they say than I thought, bro. baby oh man this is fun when you got your buddies on the hill you guys are out here doing it together I wish everyone was finding some to be honest That's with you good one, dude. I've uh, got four elk sheds a set two singles now all brown check that out I spotted the back end of the right side and then I can just see the royal coming out of that manzanita and I knew there had to be two that's a sweet bull and they're brown <laughs> yes Woo! oh what do you got in there buddy holy crap that's a giant that is a giant in there this year's yes oh my gosh I almost walked right by him too I almost walked right by these dang things. Yes! That's a big bull, guys. That is a big bull. Look at the dang base on that thing. Inline seven on this side. Uh, straight six on this side, but look how long that main beam goes. Oh, man. I can't believe I almost just walked by this set in the easiest spot to find them. I was just bombing around thinking this was too too obvious and too open of country <laughs> and I just found one of the best sets of the season go picking these up out of their resting place <laughs> Whew. what a gorgeous bull dang nice heavy dense antler that long long beam he wanted to become a seventh but didn't quite sprout a point big old burr and then this side oh. <laughs> how cool is that what a bull my best brown set of the year dang got to be like 360 I would think <laughs> gosh that's cool <laughs> can't keep them up for long this thing's got some unique looking burns check this out kind of shaped kind of funny long and skinny but yeah these are Still nice and brown. That's the skinniest burr I've ever seen on a big, big bull. Struggling, there it goes. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is that? Big brown, guys. I was standing right here when I saw it. And I was just cruising up through this opening thinking, if this is where a bull is gonna shed, it's right through this open patch. Great cover, great feed. Sure enough, big brown. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. We figured 
if we can get into them and just find some solid browns we would we would have a blast so i'd say we're having a blast yeah Whew. yes i would pick up solid browns like that all day every day definitely one of the better days i've had this year for browns well, it's only found two browns one solid white but these things up here are so dark and so pretty and you can see it's hardly even sun bleached because they start out so dang dark up here but All right, we just broke the ice. It's a shed, but I have no idea what it's a shed to. Laying in this bottom. Oh, I think that's a brown. Sweet. Nice. Brown, little six point. Just has a little back in there. But other than that, pretty good mask to him pick up here this oh yeah Super, look how dark they are on the bottom there pretty dang stinking big burr for how uh for that he's just a six point like a smaller six but good dense weight from here down that's awesome this is my first uh elk shed from this area check out check out that burr right there Pretty dang big and girthy right here. Making my line to camp. <laughs> Spotted a floater. Brownie up here, wow. How cool. Not the match, another bull up here, finally. Yes. Dang guys, this is just day one. We have a full day tomorrow and a half day the next day. How awesome is this? Heck, yes. Oh, I haven't found one like that for a while. Look big, at that, just a four point. Big for It is four. big actually for what the little frame it has. Holy crap, too bad it's so old. Wow. Look at the dang royal on that beast. Big five. But Holy smokes, chewed the heck. That's gotta be like a 22 inch Royal. Big old G1, G2's just heating. Wow, that's still pretty dense and heavy, but look at that freaking Royal. Holy crap. Oh, looks like a different bull. He's not nearly as heavy. Brown six point, but um, not as big as the other one I found. A super young bull, but pretty cool look to him. See, he's got a big fist, and then uh, just not the mass. Check that out right there. That might be a little blurry zooming in, but a big old side by side set. Heck yes, it paid off. Look at these. Oh my goodness. There is not a fresh track anywhere. Holy heavy, triple under, triple under. These things like bleached white, what the heck? They've been laying here for a while. six on this side just a beautiful bowl really this side's royal is a little shorter <laughs> that is so legit i i had kind of accepted the fact that i was going to get skunked today we didn't do it we found one this is the moment of truth this is 
gonna be my best shed of the trip and it's still in great condition what's going on back there oh you were right dude <laughs> dude what a tank Heck yeah eight points you were right martin said it might have eight <laughs> this is what we came in here for we figured there'd be these caliber of bulls we haven't really been able to find one of them except for the chalk city with that giant look at that dude cool back in oh, that is one of my all-time favorite sheds just for shape and size the squirrels got the third but honestly for chew there's that and a little on the outside i'd say it's two years old now that i'm getting a better look at it what do you think the inside is actually taking the wrath a little worse so it's yeah. probably two year old shed but i don't give a dang <laughs> that thing is so rad well we got what looks like a hard white from last year bull look how dark he stayed just from being in this in these trees little seven point oh, right on cool just a nice pretty young bull good jeans got that little seven there but you can see he's kind of bleached here. I can't believe how dark still for being a, a year old antler. But that's good. Now now we can ditch the chalk from the pile and take this guy out instead. It's a nice brown. Slick five. Dang the bugs have gotten bad. Look how dark it is on that outside and then on the inside. See it's starting to bleach out. Feels good to get a brown, I needed that. Get some motivation and really start picking this ridge apart now. There's not many sets out here that could get me this excited. I am so jacked right now. They would have been cool to find brown, but they're just as cool hard white. That is legit. Look at that set. <laughs> yes. Oh, it just seems like nothing's there because it's busted. Just a big old fat main beam. But this side is good. Woohoo! <laughs> Heck yeah. Man, it feels good to find this bull and not have to sit and worry. Wonder where the heck he went. <laughs> Guys, he's even bigger this year if I can find his browns. Look at, look at the burst on that thing. Heavy and concave. It's an old bull. I'm telling you though, this year his browns are so sweet. I hope I can find him. It's gonna keep working. He's tucked up under, up on these rocks, kind of in this random little pocket. Nice. Wow, he's got a giant G1. Look at that, holy cow. That G1 is huge. He's just like a nice bull everywhere else. Brown six point. <laughs> Pick him up real quick and get the camera back in the backpack. Cause it is flat, oh. He's, <laughs> he's a pretty nice bull actually. That G1 is huge. I mean, there's my elbow to fingertip. Dang. Not a giant base to him, but a uh, pretty dense antler, so. This thing is heavy. Look how much texture it's got there. Look at the size of that burr. That's gotta be 11 and a half, I'd say. Pretty weak. Right here, like what the heck, where'd all your mass go? Decent fifth, but yeah, like I was saying, it was it was hard to kind of get the outline to because it was a white antler up against this white rock. But it was really the royal that gave it away. All right. Too bad he's a little old, but what I'm working with so far, which is zero sheds, pretty stoked just to find that one. 
just like I thought though, super heavy down here around the base. Really carries his mass till the royal or so and then it kind of dwindles out. Even though it's chalky and dried up from sitting out here in the sun, it's still pretty dang dense. Got some good weight to it. He look good in the stack. Check out the size of this burr. Big old base. There's some elk tracks right here on this ridge, so who knows? Maybe there's some browns right here. There it is. Yeah, buddy. Sweet. <laughs> Pretty solid. Uh, either last year's or the year before, starting to get some cracks, so it might be two years old. Heck yeah, that's worth a little pickup video. How did you get under there? <laughs> the places these things uh, find to fall off and wedge themselves in the weirdest places. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty six point right there. Super clean. Couple chip points, but that's it. Man, I'm glad I threw up the binoculars right there. I was just motoring across with that heavy pack on. I don't know what the deal is besides that big chalker. I'm not getting into the, like, old bulls. That's not very big. I mean, he's got a great frame, but uh, not a very big burr. As I was crossing, noticing a lot of tracks. You know what's funny about this shed up on the hills? It has a really weird royal, like a banana royal. And uh, it is a left side. This is a right side. Huh. Well, if it's the match, it's the match to the one straight across. All right, that's probably gonna be a tight shot, but. Yes. Ooh, look at that little shark tooth back end. So this one does kind of have a banana royal. The other one has got a banana royal and I swear it's stubby or something. I'll have to go over there and check it out, but from glassing up, it just looks weird. So we have blood on this one right there. So I wonder if this was the first to shed and then it bled on top of it or if that blood is coming from the other side. Guys, what the heck is happening to me? I have not had a day like this in a long time. What the heck is that? That's a left. What is this one? Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Ah, so we got Shark 27. Is it? Oh, it's got the same royal, same color. Heck, I don't know. I don't know if that's the same bull. Guys, we're killing it. I'm killing it. Oh, I'm in shock. I don't know what to think. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that's a set. If this is a left, the one up there is a, a left. Quick hike. And now I'm already wishing we had another day to to look look around and just match everything up. But here we go. <laughs> Ooh, what a pretty bull. Really compact, kind of short on the beam. But how about that frame? Just great front. It's kind of got a lot of mass right here that we gotta get. We gotta find out what we have a set to and what we don't. And then I need to work to try to match them up, but. It feels good when it happens, guys. If you're out there and you're not finding much, remember, next ridge. Looks like I think we have two singles and a stud to match up. Holy cow, look at the blood on that one. This thing's got a longer main beam. It just looks different to me. I mean, look at the main beam on that just cruising way back. Look at that freaking blood on the burr. Holy smokes. Oh, it's all right. I mean, it could be the other side. Well, I don't have the best angle for the camera and I know it's tight. It's time to pick this up. Could it be? Guys, I just don't think that it is the other side. I think we've got two singles to match up. <laughs> this one's dark and a little more dense 
than the other single I have. Nice brown. Oh, so sweet. This is the first one I glassed. Bloody, bloody base. So we, we have three separate bulls that shed right here. And uh, only one that I've matched. So we've got two more matches to find. Well, the exo pack just got a lot heavier. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot tougher pushing through this brush with all those on there. But we've got five. A set, two brown singles, and that white single. So I'm going to throw this on and see what else we can come across. But you got to love the burrs. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. It was a ton of fun to make, like I said in the beginning. Some of my favorite sheds are highlighted in this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully that got you guys excited for shed season. I'm really looking forward to it. Again, just a reminder, text hush pack to the number 29071 for your chance to win a K3 pack from Exo Mountain Gear.